I mean, it wouldn't be fair to the rest of us being dragged down like that. I wouldn't say she was dragging anybody down. I thought she danced at solo pretty well. Yeah. And what would you know? And do you have to hang out in the girls' dressing room? I mean, how much of a freak do you want to be? Abigail, my mum taught me that if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Tara, I thought you'd be packing. Why? I'm not going anywhere. One bad class. You don't honestly think that'd be enough to make me quit. Well, if you're not leaving, I'll be making an official complaint. I don't see why my training needs to be compromised by some country hick who smells like a sheep and thinks she has... <gasps> Point you fight, greatest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> this was my grandmother's, and you don't even bother telling me? That whiny voice is seriously unattractive. Just so you know. I'll replace it tomorrow. You can't just replace it. It's all I have of hers. Well, what do you want me to say? The ugly mirror's broken, which is tragic, yes, but also irreversible. So aside from me writing an apology in my own blood, all I can do is get you another one. Well, I suppose, but just so you know, you can't break something and then pretend it never happened. It's common courtesy. Shh. What, you're so good now you can afford to be late for class? No, I'm not going. You win. You get to be the favourite. You can't even compete with nature on your side. You don't deserve what you have. <laughs>